trying to jump to outer space. If I don't land on the moon, at least I'll get to see some stars along the way. Actually, Gus, there's no way you could do that with gravity keeping us in place. Gravity is what's pulling us back down to the trampoline after you bounce up. It's an invisible force that keeps things on the ground, Gus. Hmm, but I can at least try! Time to blast off! In three, two, one! The gummy gator. Ah! What do you mean gravity won't let me go to the moon? Well, Gus, it'll be easier if I show you. Follow me if you want to defy gravity and get to the stars. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. How do I know gravity is there if I can't see it? Gravity is invisible, Gus, but you can see its effects. Kind of like wind. You can't see wind. You can only see the effects of wind, with the trees swaying or leaves being pushed by the wind. Look at those leaves over there falling from the tree. Okay. I don't know if I get what you mean. Well, the leaf didn't go up into outer space, Gus. Earth's gravity is what pulls the leaf down. Oh, I think I get it now. So, is the Earth's gravity keeping the water in this pond down on the ground and not going up into outer space? You are correct, Gus! Whoa, no! These stepping stones make me really nervous! Don't worry, Gus. I'll make sure we don't fall. Whoa! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Peck! Looks like the Earth's gravity wanted us in the water! <laughs> I guess we are defying gravity in the water, huh, Peck? Well, it seems that way, but gravity is still here. But then how are we floating? What do you think, little gators? It's buoyancy, Gus. Yeah, you float because you're lighter than water. We are floating because the water is heavier than you. Therefore, the water falls underneath you, which actually pushes you up. So, when you hold your breath, the air in your lungs is enough to make you lighter than water. This is known as buoyancy. I remember that from science class, Peck. Isn't buoyancy caused when water is replaced by an object? You are correct again, Gus. In this case, we are the objects replacing the water, and since we are lighter than the water, we float above the weight of the water. The force of buoyancy is a counteracting effect of gravity. But gravity is still here and always will be. Well, that was a nice educational float. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving, Gus. We're nearly there. Ta-da! We have arrived! Present to you the Peck Pod Space Edition. Hop in, Gus. It's gonna be out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Time to blast off in three, two, one! Where are you taking me, Peck? You said you wanted to jump to the moon. Well, here we are, Gus. We're on the moon. Wow! I feel so light out here, Peck. That's because on the moon, we're about one-sixth of the way we are on Earth. This is all because the moon is so far from planet Earth. How is this even possible, Peck? The amount of gravity depends on the two objects and the distance between them. Since the moon is smaller than Earth and farther away, you will experience less gravity on the moon. That's so cool, Pat! I sure did learn a lot about gravity today. First, I learned about the Earth's gravitational pull and about how objects will always fall towards the ground. 
Next, I learned more about how buoyancy can counteract gravity's effects because we are lighter than the water, which causes us to float. Gravity will always be there, little gators. That's right, Peck. And then Peck flew us all the way to the moon, where we were one-sixth the way we are on Earth. That's because the amount of gravity depends on two objects and the distance between them. But most importantly, I learned that gravity is everywhere, even in outer space. Thank you for watching, little gators. Hope to see you next time. Uh, 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 uh.